Today we're going to be cooking shepherd's pie, the quick and easy way. You'll see the list of ingredients on the sidebar. Step one, first you'll need to brown your meat. Once the meat is brown, you'll need to remove some of the grease. Next, place the chopped onions into the meat and cook them until they're soft. Then push the meat and onions to one side and take some flour and sprinkle it in the bottom of the pan. You'll want to brown the flour and add the rest of the flour and continue browning. Once the flour has browned and mixed nicely with the meat and the onions, add the water to create a medium to thick gravy. After the meat, onions, and gravy are mixed evenly, add your steamed vegetables. Continue mixing. Set your meat and vegetables to the side. Now we're going to prepare the potatoes. I'm using Betty Crocker's Instant Roasted Garlic Mashed Potatoes to make it easier. Just follow the instructions on the side of the box. On a side note, before adding the cheese to the top of the meat and the vegetables, you may want to add a little more water to get to the right thickness. Add salt, pepper, and garlic to taste. If it seems a little thin, you'll need to cook a little longer. Give it one good last stir and smooth out your meat and vegetables. Step three. Place the cheese evenly over the meat and vegetables. You'll see most others have placed the cheese on top of the potatoes, but we're going to place it between the meat and potatoes to create a nice cheesy sauce. Step four, scoop the potatoes evenly over the cheese. Lightly spread out the potatoes. But be sure to leave a little texture. Last, we'll place in the oven, uncovered, to bake for about 18 minutes on 350 or until the potatoes have slightly browned. And 
that's how the tired teacher makes shepherd's pie the quick and easy way.